there is in India a widespread legend about a secret organization that supposedly possesses an immense amount of advanced knowledge in its power. It is believed that the Society of the Nine Unknowns was founded over 2000 years ago, and it is often suspected that they might have manipulated social and political trends over the centuries to achieve their personal goals. But is this organization so secret, is it a reality or a mere legend, the original legend, the Society of the Nine Unknowns was founded by Emperor Ashoka shortly after 226 BC. See Ashoka was grandson of the legendary emperor who unified the Indian subcontinent, Chandragupta, and was anxious to defend the legacy of his grandfather and to preserve its empire. In the region between Calcutta and Madras, the Kalinga revolted against imperial power, which led to a war without quarter. It is said that the army of Ashoka, far superior in number, would have killed 100,000 Kalinga warriors and deported more than 150,000 inhabitants of the region. But in spite of having won the war, Ashoka was horrified by the slaughter that had caused its victory. Since then, he vowed to renounce violence forever. Emperor Ashoka is known mainly for his conversion to Buddhism and his efforts to extend this pacifist religion through India, Malaysia, Ceylon, and Indonesia. His work contributed to the later rise of Buddhism in China, Nepal, Tibet, and Mongolia. Ashoka was an avowed vegetarian, but he did not force others to imitate him. In fact, he was incredibly tolerant of the other religious sects. It did, however, prohibit alcohol consumption. Sheltering from the storms, Seven ancient Buddhist caves found in the forests of Bombay discovered in India new Jain temple complex of 800 years ago, the persecution of Buddhism and the fall of the Tibetan Empire, what is even more important is that he renounced the idea of attempting to integrate the rebellious peoples, declaring that the only true conquest was to conquer the hearts of men by observing the laws of duty and piety, since their holy majesty desired that all living creatures would enjoy safety, peace, and happiness, and be free to live as they pleased, Powells and Berger. So strong was the Emperor's commitment to this mission that he sought to prevent his subjects from focusing their minds on wrongdoing, particularly those related to war. The task of collecting, retaining, and assimilating all knowledge was too great for a single Emperor, more so because of the other commitments required to govern an empire. So Ashoka called nine of India's brightest minds of the day. For security reasons, the identity of these men was never made public. United, these geniuses formed a secret society that would eventually become known as the Nine Unknowns. The new organization set out to collect all possible scientific knowledge, from natural sciences to psychology, through the composition of matter. Fearing that if the man of foot received scientific knowledge would use them for the destruction, only the nine unknown people were allowed to study and to develop scientific theories and technology. To fulfill this overwhelming task more effectively, each of the nine was entrusted with a specific book that they should review and update until finally perfecting their content. When one of the nine could not bring his work to fruition whether by his desire to retire, delicate health, or death this obligation was passed on to a new successor chosen for it. The number of members of this society should always be nine. Thus it has been as the brotherhood of the nine unknowns would have endured supposedly for more than 2000 years. The ancient city of Mandu India, fortress and palace of pleasure, small gold chest found in a Chinese crypt could house a bone of the skull of Buddha archaeologists discover tomb of a man from ancient India who had reached muddy liberation the conjectures and speculations about the content of each of these nine books are very diverse Talbot Mundy an English writer published in 1923 a book entitled the nine unknown men which contained a list of the nine books of the sect this list has ended up being accepted more or less generalized by the scholars of this secret society, number one. Propaganda, the first book dealt with propaganda techniques and psychological warfare. The most dangerous science of all is that which shapes the opinion of the masses, since it can allow anyone to rule the whole world, in Mundy's words. Number two. Physiology, the second book talked about physiology, 
explaining how to kill a person with a simple touch, known as the touch of death, by simply reversing a nervous impulse. It is rumored that the martial art of judo is the result of leaks from this second book. Number 3. Microbiology, the third volume focused on microbiology and biotechnology. Number 4. Alchemy, the fourth was about alchemy and the transmutation of metals. According to a legend, in times of prolonged droughts, the most relevant temples and religious organizations received large quantities of gold whose origin was kept secret. Number 5. Communication, the fifth book included the study of all media, both terrestrial and extraterrestrial, which would imply therefore that the nine unknowns were aware of the alien presence on Earth. Number 6. Gravity, the sixth book was centered on the secrets of gravitation, and gave real instructions for building the ancient Vedic Vimana, such as Vaimnakashastra, ancient aerospace technology. Number 7. Cosmogony, the seventh was about cosmogony and issues related to the universe. Number 8. Light, the eighth was a study of light, specifically its speed and how to use it as a weapon. Number 9. Sociology, the ninth and last book was about sociology. It included rules for the evolution of societies and the means to predict their decline. Mundi paraphrased by ancient explorers, myth or reality. Is the legend of the nine unknown authentic? Ashoka may well have asked nine sages of unknown identity to accumulate scientific knowledge, specifically with a view to their application in war. It was a very hectic time, and other emperors are known to have undertaken similar initiatives. The nine unknowns would have explored battle tactics, training methods and technologies from various empires, weapons, manufacturers, horse and elephant mounts, and even use of gunpowder. However, it is difficult to believe in the existence of an old group of nine people who had lived in secrecy for more than 2,000 years controlling events worldwide from the remote jungles of India without knowing anything about modern equipment, technology, and infrastructure.